folks, this is Karen Trepti of KT Finances. Just lovely to see you here with me today. As usual, no notes. I just really wanted to come in and talk to you like we're having a conversation face to face. So I know it's a touchy subject, but I think it's a really important one to talk about. And that is do you have financial security? And what does that mean to you? Like, I really want you to think about this because it's so easy for days to just turn into weeks, months, years, right? And for time to fly by, that's just a very normal phenomenon. So, if we're thinking, and thank you for joining me, so if we're thinking about financial security, we've got to think about, we've got to think about Abraham Maslow. Some of you may know that I'm studying to be a school psychologist on the side. I'm going to bring in just a teeny bit of psychology into this talk. But there's different levels of financial security, right? So, do we have enough to eat today? Do, sorry, something in my mouth. Um, do we have enough to eat today? Do we have a roof over our heads? Do we have homes? Are we homeless? You know, these are like the really bottom levels, not meaning if you're there, you're a bottom person. There's never any judgment there just meaning that these are the bottom levels, like the bare levels, if you will, to feel secure financially. So we always have to make sure we have enough to eat. We always have to make sure we have shelter. Okay. So many of us are very fortunate and we do have those things. And this I'm just again chatting with you but this has to be a personal decision too. Like, what is it that you want? Um, needs are going to be different. Some people are going to be comfortable being in a van and traveling across the country. And when you're young, it's a fun thing to do, right? Some people will be comfortable with their finances. They're going to Europe and then they're just going to be traveling around and enjoying the scenery. Okay, so this is all based on your goals, which is why when you work with me, we go exactly with your goals. Okay, your goals, not my goals. So different levels. So you've got your food, you've got your shelter, and then as you begin to have children, perhaps your perceptions of what financially, to be financially secure means to you. Maybe you want to put some money away for your children's education. You're certainly going to want to make sure that they are clothed, that they are fed. And then we start thinking about, as we get a little bit older, we think, a little bit more hopefully long term like okay I have a great job right now whether I'm married or not or with a partner or not I have sufficient income now so the next level then would be how are you going to prepare yourself if whatever level of income you have right now goes away and I'm not meaning to be the bearer of bad news, but the longer you're on Earth and on this planet, you realize that all your plans may not come to fruition. You may realize that what is steady in life is actually change, that things change, your goals change, your circumstances can change, your husband or your significant other can pass away. You can pass away. Now, if you have 
young children and you're thinking about this in advance, there are things that you can do to prepare. Which for those of you who don't know me, I'm Karen Trepti of K2 Finances and I help people with life insurance. But way beyond that, I help people with investments because there are new tools these days where you can combine vehicles, if you will, and you can cover a basic need, which I would say is actually a basic need for you to have some level of life insurance. You can combine that with a really cool investment vehicle, which we can talk about personally, which will allow you to, if you don't die right away, which is what we're all hoping, that you have a nice, long, wonderful life, that you can actually use the money that you have accumulated and saved inside this vehicle, <coughs> excuse me, all the while being protected, all the while having that layer of financial security that <clears throat> of course, I'm optimistic. I don't believe anything terrible is going to happen. But would you say that about your house insurance? Would you say, <clears throat> you know what? I live in a great area, and so my house is probably not going to burn down. And so I'm not going to buy house insurance. <laughs> I mean, it just wouldn't happen, right? You just wouldn't even think about that. First of all, if you have a mortgage, even if you decide that, if you have the mortgage and the bank legally owns your property, they're going to make sure you have insurance on it. And I had some, I bought a newer vehicle and I had some technical glitches with, I don't know, the insurance company communicating with the car company, something that doesn't matter. What matters is to say that as these technical glitches were going on, the car company gave me double insurance, even though I had already bought insurance from like day one um, because of their technical miscommunication, right? So I had double insurance. So it was on me to figure it all out, to contact all the players and did it take hours? Yes, it did. But the point is the owner of that vehicle wanted to make sure that that vehicle was insured. And if you have a house and if you have a mortgage payment, I guarantee you that your mortgage lender will make sure that you have the proper insurance. Now, this doesn't happen when it comes to life insurance. It's really up to you. And it's really easy to just say, you know, things are tight right now. I just don't have the money for that. And it's really easy to say, things are really great right now. Look, there's a three point something, 3.6 unemployment rate. Nothing's gonna happen to my job. Again, if you've been around long enough, you'll see that the economy goes up and goes down. And this particular savings vehicle that I'm talking about that will cover you for life insurance in case, God forbid, something happens to you, will make sure that your children are taken care of and in case something happens to you, will also mirror the market, but not put your money in the market. Meaning, market goes up, what happens next, guys? Markets go down. Trust me, I've been on this earth long enough to know. Markets go up, markets go down. Plus, my dad opened Merrill Lynch in Tokyo, and that's one of the first things I learned. So, it's important important to be proactive. It's important to say, sure, things are great right now, but let's have some more. Let's have another layer of financial security and figure out exactly what we need for me or myself and my spouse or myself and my spouse and my children, exactly what we need like right now. And that's where you're welcome to reach out to me my consultations, financial consultations are 100% free. I always reiterate that the money that you invest with these big firms that I market for, I market for over 100 of the top national firms. I like doing it because I like 
having the side hustle at home, right? Um, the money never comes through me. I want you to be sure of that. We figure out, I act like a personal finance shopper for you. We figure out what it is that you need. And then we pick a few products based on your goals. Again, not mine. And then we figure out, okay, this is what it would look like if I invest in product A, B, or C. Which one is right for me? And then if you choose, say, product B, then you sign up through me, but with a company. So you'll be using some of these big names, and that's where your checks are going. They never come to me. So this is my jam. I love helping people with their finances. Feel free to book a call with me. I'm on all kinds of major social media outlets, so I'm very, very easy to find. And I'm sending you tons of light and love and wishing you a beautiful weekend. That's it for now.